Have you ever heard of a crime where there is no suspect and no victim? My question is, why is it even a crime in the first place? For those of you that are lost, I'm talking about prostitution. Um, now, I have wrote uh, a research paper about this topic in past years, and I've also done extensive research on this topic. Uh, and if you would like the police to focus on more serious crimes and would want to help the uh, women involved in prostitution, um, here's some reasons uh, why it should be legal. Uh, the first reason is to stop the spread of STDs. So, so the prevention of STDs, uh, stop violence against women, and lastly, uh, to stop human trafficking. So on to our first topic, uh, to stop the spread of STDs. So uh, legalizing, uh, legalizing prostitution would uh, greatly help the AIDS epidemic and the HIV uh, epidemic because uh, prostitutes would get tested uh, periodically and frequently. Um, they would also uh, be uh, encouraged to use condoms to just practice uh, safe sex, um, even if they are clean. And even in some countries where prostitution is legal, uh, the rate of STDs went down as the rate of condom use went up. Uh, by removing these laws, sex workers feel a lot more comfortable and they feel uh, more empowered um, because uh, they're doing it legal. And yeah. Uh, the author Sophie Day and Helen Ward state, uh, thus in specialist clinics for sex workers, which have been established often employ outreach models so that the services are taken in those areas which prostitutes work and are open at suitable hours. Uh, this is from the journal Sex Workers and the Control of Sexually Transmitted Disease and that was um, that was in uh, 1997. Uh, this explains that if you legalize prostitution, uh, they will have services to help them. They will uh, be clean. They will be safe uh, to, main, to maintain their business and their image um, so that everybody else involved uh, will be healthier in the long run. So next I'll be talking about uh, violence against women. So, uh, the legalization of prostitution uh, would decrease uh, the, the amount of violence against women uh, because the women uh, would be able to report the crime. Um, when it's not legal, uh, most of the time prostitutes don't want to speak to law enforcement just because um, they were doing an illegal activity and they fear that they might get uh, ticketed or jailed. Uh, for just trying to make a living. Uh, in, or, instead of working as an independent sex worker, uh, this they could also uh, uh, do this. Uh, for example, since Nevada has various counties that uh, have legal brothels, uh, which operate similar to clubs, uh, meaning that the law enforcement, if called to the brothel, they would be more on the side of uh, the brothel than uh, against them. Uh, Elizabeth Brown stated that the bottom line on decriminalization is that it means to reduce harm. Uh, that came from... Uh, the article, The Benefit of decriminaliza decriminaliza Decriminalization or Decriminalizing Prostitution uh, in 2014. Um, so on to our last topic. It will slow down the rate of sex trafficking. Um, if if uh, prostitution was legal, uh, it would be a lot harder to sex traffic uh, women or men um, 
but by outlying sex work, uh, cartels are more likely to use violence and they are, and it is easier for them to uh, sex traffic uh, women and, and men uh, into the sex trafficking industry. Uh, so instead of breaking down these sex rings and uh, trying to infiltrate them and uh, bust them down, um, it'd be a lot easier to just legalize prostitution uh, and that would have an immediate effect on uh, the sex trafficking industry. Uh, Aaron Albright and Kate Dimido state in, in the article, Decreasing Human Trafficking Through Sex Work Decriminalization, say that uh, the fear of arrest and other consequences mean uh, that those engaged in sex work are less likely to report uh, inst instances of violence and expulsion. Um, now, sex work is does not have um, just positives to it. There are negatives uh, to to uh, legalizing prostitution, and I'll show you some of those negatives. So that's why I looked at uh, New Zealand because they. Uh, legalized prostitution in 2003 uh, even though prostitution was legal uh, sex workers still reported that they experienced violence uh, the prostitution uh, law review committee stated that prostituted people in New Zealand reveal that the majority of uh, prostituted people in their country did not feel that decriminalization has curbed the violence of curbed the violence they experience. Uh, this shows that the violence is still inherent, uh, despite the fact that uh, prostitution is still legal. So it'll, it'll still happen uh, regardless if it was legal. Um, in San Francisco, uh, it is common for prostitutes to work at uh, massage parlors. Uh, to Turu Namato states in an article, uh, HIV risk among Asian women working in massage parlors in San Francisco. Uh, he stated that uh, one study of prostituted women in San Francisco massage parlors found that 62% of women uh, were uh, beaten by their custom by their customers. Um, uh, as legalizing prostitution has its benefits, it, al it also has its drawbacks. Uh, Sweeney Hunt uh, states that prostitution, regardless whether it's legal or not, uh, involves in so much harm and trauma that it cannot be seen as a conceivable business. This is from uh, the article, Why Prostitution Shouldn't Be Legal. Um, so the three things that I talked about why prostitution should be legal is that it will slow down or stop uh, STDs, so STD prevention, it will slow down uh, violence against women and or stop violence against women and it will stop uh, human trafficking or slow down human trafficking. Um, so next time um, you see uh, uh, something in the news about uh, sex workers and prostitution. Uh, just know that they're trying to make an honest living and that if it was legal, it might be a little bit easier, but there is also uh, some downside to it. So you just got to take that into account. Thank you.